After nearly two hours of public comment at Roanoke County School Board meeting tonight, the board did not vote on changes to its mask mandate. Ted News reporter Cindy Jacks Timer was inside the meeting and at the protest beforehand. She shares what parents had to say. Parents were outside the Roanoke County School Board building hours before tonight's meeting, working to make their voices heard. We're out here in the hopes, the perhaps vain hope, of convincing the school board to do the right thing and to keep the mask mandate in place. Parents, teachers and students packed into the meeting, even filling up two overflow rooms down the hall, along with a long list of people for public comment. We are only asking the school board to make the mask optional, not to take them away. Feel free to still wear your mask, even too, if that's what makes you comfortable. Now is not the time to make a decision to remove these preventative measures is reckless, self-serving, and can leave blood on your hands for a what-if scenario should you be willing to overlook it. The protest comes after the school board voted to rescind the mask mandate earlier this month, but two days later, reversed the decision. What's new this week? An executive order from Governor Glenn Youngkin making masks optional in schools. We sat here in August and we heard that we must follow the governor's requests and mandates and orders. So now in January, shouldn't we be doing the same thing? But without explanation, the board said there would be no vote on the measure. Uh, there will be no vote tonight and, and no policy changes taking place this evening. The next scheduled school board meeting is Thursday, January 27th. In Roanoke County, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you. Several other school divisions updated their mask policies today, and we do have a list of them right now on WSLS.com. We'll keep updating that list as school boards vote on the issue.